Hi everyone, it's Lindy on here from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I wanted to make a fun little Valentine gift card holder and we're going to be using the Java set, gift card holder set from Art Impressions. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the set we're going to be working with today and you can see that to create the little envelope for your gift card you do need this separate die here and I'll talk about that a little bit more later on. There's the little pocket that you can create, and this is called the Java gift card holder set. And there are several different designs in this series. You have the little Santa set. It's got that cute little hat. And then we've got the little snowman. And I have done videos on some of these gift card holders, and I will list and link those below for you, and also list and link those on my blog as well. And for this one here, I created a couple of cards with this, not using it as a gift card holder, just using that little cake as a birthday cake, and I also did it as a wedding cake as well, and I'll link that below. And this is the little black cat set here, which is really super cute. So you can see all the different designs that you have available for this. And then let me show you that the gift card holder envelope. That's the die for that. And you do get a couple extra dies in this set as well. You get some little accessory dies. You get some tags. Um, you get a little scallop circle. You get a little nice variety in here. For the envelope itself, I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Paper Bag Cardstock, which is a 100 pound cardstock. And I'm running that through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And when this die cuts, it creates all the score lines that you need to do your folding, and it creates that little slot to close your envelope. So I'm using my bone folder, and I'm just going to press out all those creases here. It's really simple, just a few little folds, and then you've got those two tabs on the side. And you can see that'll tuck right in, but the way the gift card holders are designed, uh, that little tab will get ex extended depending on which design you're using. So for us, we're gonna be using the little straw, and that the top of the straw will, will actually act as a little tab for that slot. And now I'm just adding some quarter inch double sided tape here along both sides. And then I'll just remove the backing and close up this envelope. And it's really that simple. Now you could use double sided paper here as well if you want the inside of the envelope to have a little bit different color. So you can see my gift card fits right in that little pocket. Now for decorating this, I'm going to use the Frosted Peppermint cardstock. This is from Die Cuts with a View, and I had this left over from my Christmas stash, so I've been trying to use it up, so I use, I'll be using it in a couple different videos. I like to try to use up as much of my Christmas papers as I can at the end of the season, and I thought this was perfect for this design. So one of the papers here from that paper pack has these little hearts on one side and they're foiled, but you can see that you can kind of see that design through the cardstock. So we're going to be using that brown side there and then we're going to be using this plaid as well. So I'm just picking designs that aren't necessarily Christmassy. And now for additional cardstock, I'm using the ground espresso and we're going to use that for the little band around the coffee. And then I'm grabbing the scallop circle and the little straw. Again, these all come in the set. And I'll be using this really pretty cardstock here. I was just checking to make sure that it coordinates with the paper. I'm trying to take away that Christmassy look. And this is called canned pumpkin. So I'm kind of picking up that little bit of a burnt orange color in that plaid. So let's go ahead and run these through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. And this little die here cuts those little slots, it makes it look like that corrugated cardboard that goes around your coffee cup. So it's really kind of very dimensional, really pretty. And now I'll die cut these other two little pieces here. And 
And then again for the cup, the lid on the cup, I'm using that kind of brown pattern paper there. Now at this point, I did decide that I wanted to thicken up the cup and the, the lid as well. So I'm going to just run some additional 100 pound cardstock through my die cutting machine. And just so I can back the lid and back the coffee cup, just to give that a little bit more stability. I'm gonna do the same thing with this cup as well. I'm gonna switch over to that paper bag cardstock and die cut one more of these. So now that I have everything all die cut, I can go ahead and glue these together. I'm just using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. That way I can just slide things right into place here. And I'll just let that sit and dry. I'm just gonna put a couple of acrylic blocks on that while it dries. Then I'll go ahead and glue these two pieces together here for the lid. Now I've grabbed my Hero Hues Unicorn Pigment Ink. This is a white pigment ink. So I'm just going to add some highlights here and there to these little pieces. Now you could certainly add shadows instead, but I just wanted to brighten things up a little bit. So I'm just going to use that white. And I use this foam applicator just for this particular ink pad because it is white. I don't want it to get dirty with anything else. So. I keep it separated just to use with this particular color. I kind of want this gift card holder to be more of a masculine gift card holder. And so I didn't want to have it be too bright, but I thought by just adding this little bit of white, it just adds a little more interest. Now, You'll see here, I decided that I didn't want as much white on the front, but I'm going to keep it on the back side of this. But on the front, I'm going to add a little bit of a darker brown color right around the edges. So I grabbed my Ground Espresso Distress Oxide ink, and I'm using one of my small brushes from my Pick and Fence Studio Life Changing Brushes. And again, I'll leave the white on the back, and I'll have that darker tone on the front. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of that shadowing around the edges of the cup. And just to let you know, all the products I'm using today are listed and linked down below and also on my blog. So you can see that's how that'll come together here. Now for the little straw, I'm adding a little bit of that ground espresso right across the top there just to give it a little bit of a darkening right at the opening of the top of the straw there. And then I'm going to add some white stripes to my straw. So I'm just using a white gel pen and I'm just going to add those stripes in. And later on, I decided to add some chocolate brown stripes as well. But for now, I'm just going to add that white. And then I'll add a little bit of a highlight right around the edges of the, the top of, the, of that straw as well. Now I've got this stamp set. This is called Love Birds. And we're just going to use those little birds. But you can see how many cute little sentiments you get with this. So we're using those birds. And then we're also going to use that sentiment that says Love Birds as well. And these are going to fit perfectly on the front of our little cup here. And I'm just checking that circle that came with that die set, just to make sure it's gonna fit in there nicely. And then I'm using my Versa Claire ink pad. And this color is called Pine Cone, which is this beautiful chocolate brown. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this. Now this will be permanent, so we're gonna be watercoloring. So we're using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush pens, and I'll be listing all the colors up in the left-hand corner there as we go along. And Again, going back to that ink pad that we're using, it is a permanent ink pad, so you can do this blending and coloring with your water-based markers, and it will not move around. It won't bleed or smear. And if you're worried that it's a little wet, because it is a little bit on the wetter side, you can always heat set your image before you start your coloring. 
So I'm using some beige here and I'm just adding a few little shadows with the beige, just adding another layer of that color just to add some shadows here. Then I'm also using the beige up top, but I'm going to add that mid brown just for a little bit more shadowing and just to darken up the body a little bit more. And I'm using that blender pen to do all my blending. And if you're not so sure about the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, I've done several videos on these. So you can go to my blog and just type in the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens and lots of videos will come up so you can get a better idea of how to use these, how to do some shading and blending. But here I'm just doing some really simple coloring, just adding that mid-brown and just kind of pulling it in here, keeping the, the face the lightest. And just kind of going around that pink flamingo on the cheeks there. And then I'm adding a little touch of pink to those little hearts above the birds. Now I can go ahead and die cut this. So I'm going to place that circle sort of towards the bottom here of these two little birds. And I'll just tape that down. And I'm using some purple tape. And I'll run that again through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. And look how cute these are. I just think they're so adorable. So I am going to die cut two more of those circles out of some 100 pound cardstock. I want to thicken this up a little bit. I want to just make it a little more dimensional. So I die cut two more. You could die cut as many as you want here. And I'm just going to glue all three of these together. So we'll just let that dry. Now I want to position this straw. So as I mentioned before, that top of the straw is going to act as a little tab for that slot. So you want to extend it up above the point on that envelope, just a little bit, maybe about a quarter of an inch. So you don't want to put glue right at the very top of your straw. You just want to put it in the middle and you don't want to put any on the other end either. So I would say, uh, the quarter inch at the top of the straw and the quarter inch at the bottom of the straw. Do not put any adhesive there. Then you can go ahead and glue that in place. And now I'm just going to kind of position things here and figure out exactly where I need to place the cup. So I've placed that lid down where I want it to be. I can go ahead and place that cup in, and glue that down. And I'm just centering that here. Now I'll glue that lid in place and I'm going to tuck it underneath the straw there. Remember, we didn't put any glue there. So we have a little bit of play there. We can tuck it right in underneath and you do want it to be able to fold. So you don't want to glue that little end down. So again, I'll let that dry and I can go ahead and glue my little birds to that scallop circle. And then I've got that little holder for the cup for the coffee here, for the coffee cup, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. So you can see how quick and easy these come together. These are really fun to do, and you, these are fun to mass produce. If you need a bunch of gift card holders, just change out your the, the little uh, image in the center there. Look through your stamps and see what you have for little tiny images that would work really well for this. It's really fun to see what you can come up with. And I'm using my white gel pen just to add a few highlights here and there. And I did decide to add three little dots to each of the cheeks there. Now I've got my Tombow dual tip marker. And I'm this is the black one. And I'm just going to add a little black up at the top there where the opening of the straw is. So that when we close the gift card holder, it will look finished off. So now I'm going back to that set and that lovebird set and I'm grabbing that little trio of hearts and I'm going to go ahead and stamp that on the back of the gift card holder. And then again back to that stamp set I'm using the sentiment lovebirds. Now I've got this the little tag die. That die 
comes from this set, the uh, Java gift card holder set. So you get some little extras in there. And so first I'll stamp the sentiment. I've placed it in my mini Misty. And again, I'm going back to that pine cone ink. I've stamped it a couple of times. And now I'm going to grab that cute little tag and tape that down. So let's go ahead and die cut that. Now let's add a little bit of color around the edges. So I'm going back to that ground espresso. Again, I'm going back to that small life-changing brush and I'm just going to add a little shadow right around the edges here just to tie everything together here. Now I was originally going to tie that on, but I decided instead just to tuck it right underneath that little scallop circle. And I'm going to let it sort of hang off the side there. So I'll just make sure I tack that down with a little bit of glue. Now I've got my Micron pen. This is a permanent pen and this is a dark chocolate brown. And I'm going to do a little stitching all the way around that tag. So I probably should have done this before I attached it, but it was pretty simple to do. And I just did this freehand. I went all around the edges and just created a little bit of a stitched effect around the edges here, just to finish this off. And then here's where I decided to add those additional stripes to the straw. So I'm adding those dark chocolate brown stripes in between those white stripes. And I just thought that added a lot and just gave it a little bit more of a masculine feel. So you can see close up how cute this is. And again, just changing out your papers or changing out your little image there. You can come up with so many different possibilities. And this is a great way to use up some of your paper scraps as well. So you can see now that little tab at the top fits right in that slot and keeps this closed nicely. Now, if you didn't want to do a gift card, you could always just make a little note card to fit inside that little pocket. So that's an option as well. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.